Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tunny here, coming back with a brand new Clash Royale episode. So a couple of hours ago, the season was reset, so we are now all back down towards the, uh, the 3,000 trophy area. So we are currently inside of the Legendary Arena. Well, technically, we're not inside, guys. We're at 2,960 trophies, but it still says I'm inside. So what we're going to do inside of this video right now, we are about to go in for some live attacks, doing a challenge which we have never done on this channel. So I'm sure you've seen this challenge before, guys. It is the double duel and the double wizard combo so it's basically like the twin attack deck so we got two wizards we got two giants now I'm not really expecting to win I reckon we're gonna get pretty wrecked we are also gonna be using the bomb of the inferno tower the uh the ice sorry the fire spirits and of course the zap spell now we're gonna do this attack then we're gonna come back and we're gonna switch the deck up slightly we're gonna chuck in the other uh, ice spirit and maybe drop out the two wizards and maybe we'll even chuck in another combo like the mini pekka and the pekka so we're not gonna waste any time we're gonna get ourselves into this life attack wish me good luck guys good luck tony so here we go gonna make our way in of course to the legendary arena now i'm hoping we go up against someone who's maybe a little bit weaker because i've never tried this before and i have no idea how it's gonna go down so can we start off with a giant there we go guys we got the oh 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 he's coming in already we're gonna zap spell the hog rider He's already coming in with a large attack. Mr. Wizard is going to... Yes, he takes out the uh, the Hog Rider and it only got a single shot off. So we're going to drop down this giant here, guys. So obviously, we haven't got the, uh, the Royal Giant in the deck right now. Damn! He's got an Inferno Tower. So we're going to find ourselves in maybe a little bit of a trouble here because he's got the Inferno Tower. So we're going to have to split up our giant. Maybe we're going to send one giant down one path and the Royal Giant down the other. So far though, it's not too bad, not too bad. He's done a little bit of damage, but not too much to be honest with you. So the Ice Wizard's going to be dropped down at the back right hand side. Now I think we're going to team him up with the Royal Giant and hopefully the Royal Giant can do some damage. So there goes the, uh, there goes the, uh, the Fire Spirits. We got the Royal Giant and of course we got the Ice Wizard. Now we're going to drop in the Bomber just behind as well. And we've also got the Zap Spell, but our Ice Wizard is doing a lot of damage. No, we were doing such a good job there. So we're going to Zap Spell his Ice Wizard. And his tower, of course, just to get a couple of extra shots off onto his crown tower. Sorry, onto his tower on the right-hand side. So far, though, not looking bad. We took it down to 1,115 hit points. Here we go, guys. Inferno Tower's going to go down. Draw that Hog Rider in. Obviously, the Inferno Tower's going to get taken out so quickly by the, uh, by the Spear Goblins there. But they get taken out as well. Hog Rider goes down, but he done a lot of damage. Now, as I said, I'm not really expecting to win. I don't know if we are going to win, but I'm going to try my best. Let me know down below. What is your favorite duo? Is it the two giants? Is it the two wizards? Is it the two spirits? Which is your favorite duo? So here come some, uh, some spear goblins. Mr. Potter should deal with them pretty quickly, but only actually takes one of them out. So can we send in a giant? Now, I'm guessing he's going to have that Inferno Tower once again, guys. So we got the Zap Spell ready. There it goes, guys. Inferno Tower locks on. Now we're going to drop down the Zap Spell just a little bit after before the uh, the actual uh, the giant. I just got confused there before the giant reached it. So hopefully the giant can do a couple of shots onto his tower. Can we do some damage? Not quite, guys. Damn, I just realized he's done so much damage to my tower. We may actually lose this a lot faster than I realized, guys. So we've got the... Uh, we got the zap spell ready. We are going to zap spell his inferno tower. Hopefully the wizard, hopefully the wizard can take it out. Come on, take out the inferno tower. Finally, it goes down, guys. So the uh, the royal giant doing some damage to his crown tower. We're going to send another one in straight away because it looks like we're going to be losing that tower on the left-hand side. Can we take out his tower also? There are only 20 seconds left inside of this battle. It goes down, guys. The hog rider is still up and doing some damage. Wow, we didn't take it down. We didn't take it down. We've lost. We've lost. So it looks like we are going to be losing this first challenge. There is nothing I can do about that. There is literally nothing I can do. So the first challenge ends up being a loss, unfortunately. So let's change up the deck a little bit. Let's just switch it up. Okay, we got minus 29 trophies, which I suppose... That's just sent us back down into the, uh, the Frozen Peak. That's a little bit unfortunate, but we're going to change it up this time. We're going to be dropping in the Ice Spirit. So we're going to drop in the Ice Spirit. We're going to drop out the double wizards, guys. So there goes the first wizard. So we've got the two spirit cards. We're also going to drop out the Inferno Tower and the Ice Wizard. Actually, guys, I changed my mind. We're going to be dropping out the... Uh... Yeah, actually, let's do that. Let's do a huge deck here. This is going to be so hard to win with, but I don't really know what's going to happen. So we're going to drop in the Mini Pekka, and we're also going to drop in the Big Pekka. Now, this is going to be pretty damn insane. It's a 3.8 elixir cost deck, so it's not really extremely expensive, but it's got a lot of heavy cards inside of it. Nothing really small, so if we can get a big push going, then hopefully we will be able to take down the opponent. 
So here we go, obviously we are inside of the Frozen Peak now, no longer inside of that legendary arena. And we're going to start off with the Royal Giant and the Ice Spirits on the, uh, sorry, the Fire Spirits. You know what, we're going to chuck in the Ice Spirit as well. Let's see what we can do here. So he's got an Inferno Tower going in. Obviously the uh, the Royal Giant's going to be stopped straight in his path. No point wasting any more Elixir there. We're going to drop down the Ice Wizard just to do some damage. Just to slow down this Valkyrie. Hopefully she doesn't get a single shot off into my Ice Wizard. Yes, that was close. So it's going to be Mini Pekka. We got the Ice Wizard coming in just behind. And we've also got the Zap Spell, which is about to come up. There we go, guys. Hopefully we can do this. Going to Zap Spell his Dark Prince. And of course, hopefully we can do some damage to the tower. Not quite. And the Dark Prince is still alive. So that's going to get taken out by my tower, obviously. There he goes. That was a very close push there. So this time, we're going to send the Pekka in on the left-hand side. We're going to send the Royal Giant in on the right. And hopefully... We can do a little bit better damage here. So here we go. We're going to send in the, uh, we got the fire spirits going and going to drop in the ice spirit as well. Going to chuck in the, uh, the ice wizard. Okay, we're in so much trouble here now. We are in a lot of trouble, guys. So he's going to drop. We're going to have to zap spell those, uh, those goblins there. Damn. Now he hasn't quite looked at my, uh, my Pekka going down the left hand side. He's just dropped in a Valkyrie. Shouldn't be too much of a problem for it. We're going to drop down the mini Pekka in on the right hand side, guys. So it's going to be double Pekka going down there. He's got the, uh, the, the, uh, what is it called? I'm getting lost for my words here. He's got the princess in the center. We're going to drop in the, uh, ice spirit on the left hand side. Hopefully the Pekka can get a shot off. Yes, he can. And the mini Pekka's taken out the tower on the right. Wow. What a combo. So that combo's looking pretty damn good. So we've dropped in the Ice Wizard. He's going to do some damage and hopefully slow down that Dark Prince quite a lot. The Dark Prince gets taken out. It's looking decent, guys. And here goes the uh, the Giant in on the left-hand side. Now, we haven't sent in the Giant yet. That is the first Giant going in. I know he's got an Inferno Tower. There it goes. I was expecting that. Going to drop in the Fire Spirits behind the uh, the Mini Pekka. Going to Zap Spell his Tower as well. Take out those, uh, those Goblins. Mini Pekka is getting taken out by the Valkyrie. And unfortunately, didn't get a single shot off onto that tower. But here we go. Pekka's going to be dropped in on the left-hand side there. Pekka is going to distract and absolutely destroy that prince there. Going to drop in the mini Pekka to take out the princess. We have got the Inferno Tower, which is about to get taken out. And now the Royal Giant is going to go in and focus on that tower on the left-hand side. We're going to... Oh, here comes an Inferno Tower. Another Inferno Tower. Hopefully, the Royal Giant can take it out. The Pekka's going to take it out anyway. We're going to drop the Zap Spell on it. Stop it from destroying my Pekka. In goes the giant that should distract the prince. Going to drop in the uh, the ice spirit. Now all we need to do is hold this off for six seconds. And we have secured ourselves the victory. There it is, guys. We won the second battle. So the uh, the double P.E.K.K.A. seemed to work a great job. So how about we go in for one more live attack. This time we're going to drop out both of the giants. And we are going to use both of the princes. Now I have never in my life use the double prince deck guys in fact i've never used any of them you can see we haven't even upgraded the dark prince so we're going to use the dark prince and we're going to use the prince they are both very low level but let's just upgrade him before we go into the battle he's going to go to level three so this is the entire deck we've got the double prince we got the double pekka so we've also got the ice wizard but i've decided to change that i'm going to drop in the bomber instead that is going to be the final deck let's get ourselves into one final attack Look at that, guys. We are back inside of the uh, the legendary arena, and he says, sorry, I win. That's his name. That is literally his name. Oh, damn. What do I do? What do I do? We're in so much trouble already, guys. We have nothing to take out this. Uh, we're going to drop a Pekka down with hope that they distract the, uh, the minions, but they're not distracting. We have nothing to counter those minions. Now we do. we got fire spirits, but it's a little bit too late. But who cares, guys? It's going to be Pekka and, of course, the Dark Prince combo. Let's see what we can do here. So he drops in the furnace. Going to take out the Dark Prince. We're going to chuck in the Fire Spirits just behind. But the uh, the Pekka is about to reach the tower. There we go, guys. And it looks like we're going to take his tower down already. Damn. So we're going to drop the Zap Spell. Take out the tower. There he goes, guys. And the Pekka's done a great job. I did just realize, though, our tower is already on uh, already on 264 hit points. So it looks like we are going to be losing that tower. We do have the Prince and the Mini Pekka ready to go. You know what? That tower is going to go down pretty quickly, guys. We're going to drop in the Prince. <clears throat> we're going to drop in the bomber to take out and do some splash damage to both of those troops. So the Hog Riders reached my tower. It's cool. Don't worry about that. The bomber, hopefully, is not going to die inside of that poison spell, but it looks like it's going to. Here we go, guys. So we're going to drop down the Mini Pekka and the Ice Spirit on the left hand side. You know what? Let's go in with the Double Spirit cards. There goes the Ice Spirit and, of course, the Fire Spirit. Mini Pekka is inside of there. We got the Zap Spell ready to go on the tower. Oh, we wasted it. We absolutely wasted it. So, so far, it's looking head-to-head. -head. We've got the Bomber ready to rock and roll. Now, I'm kind of fearing his Hog Rider. We're going to have to see if we can use maybe the Mini Pekka 
to counter the hog rider but i'm expecting that to be coming in very very shortly so we're going to drop down the prince at the back left here just to build up a little bit of momentum there comes some little fire spirits guys hopefully we can take one out before it reaches nope the prince took one out though that's cool there goes the double prince we're going to send in the bomber as well let's drop in this bomber here guys that's hopefully going to deal with that furnace the uh, the dark prince gets taken out in fact, every single one of them got taken out, but the furnace is down, so that's cool, that's cool. The furnace is down, there go the ice spirits, there go the fire spirits, we're gonna zap spell the mini P.E.K.K.A. and they all get taken out. So we're into the last 45 seconds, guys, so we're gonna see if we can get a push going here using the P.E.K.K.A. Hopefully we're gonna get two princes down onto the map also. Now I'm guessing, I'm hoping that we can drop down the, uh, at least one of the princes into the center near that, uh, near the furnace. In fact, let's go with this, guys. We're gonna drop down the mini P.E.K.K.A the bomber and the fire spirits and the ice spirits all into the center there we are gonna zap spell his minions can we do some damage here here we go gonna drop in the mini packer as well the packer is about to reach the tower can he get a shot off no so close the mini packer didn't reach either so we're gonna drop the packer this time into the center that's gonna draw the uh, the mini packer over obviously we have sustained a lot of damage to us to our little packer there which was unfortunate there go the other uh, fire spirits and of course the bomber that's gonna take out the uh the furnace, yes, it just gets taken out in time, guys. So we're going to lose the P.E.K.K.A. once again. Now, the bad thing about this deck, of course, we don't have a single card to counter those minions. Now, we do have the uh, the mini P.E.K.K.A. and, of course, the Prince to take out the Hog Rider. There it goes. Their little uh, knight comes in there, and we can we can have a good push here. Let's check it out. Check this out, guys. So we've got the, uh, we've got the Dark Knight, Dark Prince going in there. We're going to zap spell every single one of his cards there inside of his center. But it looks like it's going to be a very close draw here. Let's see if we can stop this Hog Rider push once again. We are losing a lot of hit points on our tower due to these Hog Riders. But it looks to me like it is going to be a stalemate. Going to see if we can do this one last push, guys. The Bomber's going to go for it. He's probably going to be dropping in the Hog Rider. So let's just make sure we drop a Pekka there. Pekka going to cause a distraction to the Miner. And it looks like it was a great game. So it ended up being a draw, which wasn't too bad for me, considering I have two Peckers, two Princes, and the two Fire Spirits. So sorry, the two Spirit Cards inside of my deck. So that is going to be the end of the episode. Don't forget to leave a like down below if you have enjoyed the video. Let me know in that comment section, guys, which one of these are, which one of these doubles is your favorite. In all honesty, it's probably got to be the Pecker and the Mini Pecker. So I will see you very shortly. Have a great day, guys. Love you all. Peace out.